Hello everybody, this is Handy863 here bringing you another video today and I actually have a response video to my own video that I uploaded I think almost two years ago now um, which was basically just a how-to on how to extract me's from RKG files uh, which are the ghost datas and being able to use them on your own console. Uh, now on here, um, there was, or the method that I worked out myself was a massive um, method where you had to like use this hex editor and find the code for the me files and then import it into a me file thing in the hex editor itself. A uh, really long winded method of doing things, and um, it, yeah, it's just because I didn't really know what I was doing um, basically at the time. Um, however, with special thanks to this video that I put up recently, where I had found out on uh, Nin Rankings, um, the controller inputs were inputting the along the wrong axis. So as you can see here, very slightly, I am pointing down on my analog stick in the bottom right hand corner, uh, but it's showing me at the top side. So. I wanted to try and see if this is actually the game doing it or if it was just in rankings. Um, so I found this RKG viewer that um, Atlas made, which uh, in order to check the um, inputs for some ghosts, I will put this link in the description below. So here is the input viewer. And as you can see, you um, can see for more than just one controller, whereas on in rankings it's just for the GameCube controller. Um, and actually, and um, as part of this software itself, you have the choice to actually export the me character data. And I, uh, I'll do a little bit of a demonstration here as well. So if we go to random players page, um, well not the random players page, but a random random player so you can see here there's a player um, we get one of his ghosts we can download here and I will just get hold of that here so we get one of these and we um, open it up using the RKG viewer which I think you can just do it by that Yes, it, although it opened up on my other screen right here. So there you go. So you get to see this person's controller that they used. Um, you get to play it and you can see their inputs as well and button inputs and everything. Kind of cool. Um, but then, of course, you also get this export me data here. And what this does is if you take the... Um, what you may call it, step out of my uh, tutorial. So all of this coding part, it basically replaces all of this because the thing does it itself. So you basically have the file here ready to um, ready to go. Uh, so you can basically, once you save this, you can basically just open it, like put it in your Mies folder and get it ready to extract to the uh, what you do there so um, I don't actually have this ready I'm waiting hey Troy yeah Troy I actually use Troy's me to sort of test this out but if we go here we got his me and you can see that it's clearly him So there you go. That's basically how you do that. Uh, I have two other things here as well. So um, let's close this one off. I actually have another ghost here. And this is actually being extracted from an RKYS file without... Um, uploading it to NIN rankings. And I can actually open it with a 
open it with this. So there you go. It's also opened up over here, which is annoying. And this is actually a me file from one of my friends who I used to play with on uh, Mario Kart Wii called Jameson. So I believe if you change the font, you've got his name right here. And I can do the exact same principle once again with his me. Extract it from the ghost data. And there you go. We have Jameson. It works with any ghost. Um, so you can download it from here or from NIN rankings, or you could even extract it from your own uh, RKSYS file. And uh, yeah, so and that puts it all is it much simpler than just uh, recoding the files and everything yourself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, so that is all I had to show. Um, I hope this helps to some degree. I thank everyone for watching in that regard. And uh, I shall see you again later. Goodbye.